Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement, specifically how we can identify the relative length of objects or units, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So first let's start with the metric system. And sometimes in fourth grade you might be asked, you might be given an object like a baseball bat, or you might be given a height uh, like a basketball hoop, and you might be asked, how high is that or how long is that without any type of, of ruler to look at? So what I wanted to look at today is some basic guide points for how to figure out how wide or how long something is. So let's start with a metric system. You see we have in the top left, we have a credit card. And the thickness of a credit card is one millimeter. So one millimeter is very, very, very thin. And if you're measuring anything in millimeters, it's going to be about the thickness of a credit card. Ten sheets of paper stacked on top of each other is also about the thickness of one credit card. Now next on top of that, you also have a fingernail. And the width of your fingernail is about one centimeter. Now the way that meters and, and centimeters and all of them work is that you have ten millimeters equals one centimeter. So if you take 10 of these credit card thicknesses, you get about the width of your fingernails. So if you look at your hand right now, the width of your fingernail is about one centimeter. Those are smaller and you'll typically see centimeters on rulers if you're measuring. Now the next jump is going to be a hundred centimeters. So we're gonna take a hundred centimeters and that's going to equal the length of an acoustic guitar, and that's one meter. So sometimes you'll see a meter stick, and a meter stick shows one meter or a hundred centimeters. So think about an acoustic guitar, laying it on its side. That's about the length of one meter. And then finally, the only other unit that you're probably going to use for distance in a metric system is a kilometer. And it's going to be abbreviated with one km and it is actually 1,000 meters. So 1,000 meters, think 1,000 acoustic guitars, that's gonna equal one kilometer. And that is the distance, we use kilometers when we're measuring distances that are like between cities or the lengths of rivers. Those are really long distances. So a kilometer is about, think of a 12 minute walk. If you're just going on a, just a normal pace, 12 minute walk, at the end of that 12 minutes, you will be at a kilometer. Now, let's see what happens when we look at the customary units. So now we are looking at customary measurements, measurements that are used in the United States. And our smallest measurement that we're going to be dealing with is one inch. And an inch is about the distance from the middle knuckle of your thumb to the tip of your thumb. Now, obviously, everyone has different length thumbs, but if you hold your thumb out, Look at that middle knuckle and go to the very end of your thumb. That's about one inch. Now, if you take 12 inches, then you are going to make a foot. Now, everyone's foot is a different length, so we don't really use our own feet to measure a foot. Uh, 12 inches make a foot. An easy way to remember that is if you've ever been to a subway, you can order a foot long. And a foot long is literally a 12 inch a Subway sandwich that you can eat. So think about one of these big long sandwiches that you can eat. That would be a foot. Now, if you take three feet, so three feet, that's going to equal one yard. So our next uh, unit of measurement is one yard. It's also going to be 36 inches. Now, we've already seen this guitar. That's because a yard and a meter are very, very similar. A meter is just a little bit longer, but they're close enough to where you can use the same image. And once again, our, our last one is going to be a mile. And miles are really, really far. Now, a mile is a lot longer than a kilometer. It, it's about a 20-minute walk. Uh, so that's a lot longer than a kilometer. But if you take um, 1,760 yards, that's going to equal one mile. And it takes exactly 5,280 feet to make a mile.